Yo. Rebel Gaming Club Worst Pickup episode. Well, this is an episode, but this is the Black Friday holiday special pickup. We all know this time of year it gets a little tricky if you're a, a gamer, a game collector. We wait all year for these prices and then they flood it to us all at once and it becomes very overwhelming. I believe I added 23 games to my collection this year and I spent I spent some good money unfortunately but I tried to offset that money with having some trade credit from GameStop going into this uh, holiday season. So I was able to, to kind of balance it out a little bit. In the past years I wasn't able to, to do that but this year I was. So right off the bat we took advantage of the, the GameStop online glitches they were having. They had all kinds of odd pricing things that wasn't applying in store. You had to kind of just be there online and kind of recognize what was going on. The first thing is, it's actually not video games, <clears throat> but it's pops. You guys know, I, I I do pops a little bit here and there, you know, select ones I think that are cool. I don't mind having them in my collection, like my Motley Crue ones I enjoy, X-Files ones I enjoy, uh, my buddy John hooked me up with like Dr. Seuss and Sanford and Son, those are fun too. But there was some on there, on the GameStop website, for $3 a piece, and I was, I was shocked because I was ready to pay full price for these when they first got released, I don't know, a month and a half ago. So we got a whole box right here. We're gonna go right through them, show you guys. Yeah, I couldn't believe $3 a piece. Ah, uh, let's see here. The first two I'm gonna show you get them out of the box jeez are these Billy and Lance Contra Pops six dollars I mean I don't there's not too many of you guys would pass these up would you those are gonna look great on the shelf it's a great crossover if you're you know into retro gaming and you like pops it's 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 a win-win And then the next uh, two sets here are, well, they're just fun. First up, we got these Def Leppard Pops. And uh, Vivian Campbell, who's a, a newbie to Def Leppard. We got Phil Collin. Uh, we got Rick Allen. And this pop is awesome because it he's missing his arm just like in real life. Look at that. Joe Elliott, the singer. And also, oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, it popped open. And obviously the last member of Def Leppard, if you guys know, Rick Savage. So right there would have been cool. You'd have been like, yeah. Contra, Def Leppard, but oh, there's more. We also picked up the whole set of Duran Duran Pops. We got the Taylors. And Simon Le Bon. In hindsight, I probably should have ordered two sets of each one of those because, uh, well, it cost me, what, $15 for a set of Def Leppard or, you know, a set of Duran Duran. I probably could have, well, I know I could have easily sold the sets on eBay for 40 or 50 bucks. A lot of people weren't hip to the, the sale that was going on. I just kind of got lucky and... Actually, was looking for a Luka Doncic basketball pop and uh, just stumbled on those on clearance. 
Question is, did you guys go out? You, you probably didn't. Yeah, it would have been crazy to go out on actual Black Friday, you know, because obviously pandemic. We don't want to deal with that, but maybe some of you guys did, or you just probably ordered. I, I'm guessing I have a lot of the same stuff that you guys probably would have picked up or did pick up. Um, Sakura Wars. I picked this up off of Best Buy for $30. This is one of those ones that I have waited forever. I didn't want to pay $60 for this. So $30 was, was a, a nice price point. So that's how we started it. GameStop, there was a glitch in their system. It was buy one, get one free. So I picked up this Land Grizzer, one and two. And I also picked up a Switch game, unfortunately. It came, uh, with no original case. So I'm gonna return that one, hopefully get my original price of $40 and keep this for free. We'll see if it works. Uh, Best Buy, $15. Resident Evil 3, that's exactly what I wanted to pay for that. That's another one I just held off and held off. I'm excited though, because I, I like these, uh, these remakes of these, they, they look beautiful, they're really fun to play. Number two was, was a, a great experience. Uh, 13 Sentinels. This Atlas title comes with that, that big book. Kind of box thing going on here. Not a collector's edition, but it's not like your basic model. Um, yeah, this has been out for a little bit, and I got this for $30. And that's, once again, the price point I wanted to pay for, for this. Uh, not much to say. I think it's like a real-time strategy game with visual novel, so kind of right up my alley, minus the visual novel part. GameStop order. You know, that's the problem. I, I ordered, uh, what was it, 12 games on GameStop's website. You just don't know if these things are going to come complete. You don't know what you're going to get. And uh, I think I spent, it was $100 and I got 12 games. So whatever promotion they had, it was it was a great deal. I was happy. There was a lot of titles in here that you're going to see that you normally don't see in the store. If you do, you know, once again, maybe they're not complete. The first one we got was this Beast Simulator. Which I know it's it's not going to be a great game, but at the same time, it's good for the collection and the novelty is is very high. Uh, Code Realize Winter Tide. This unfortunately came just case. Maybe I'll get lucky and somebody will trade it into my local GameStop so I can swap it out. Agony, one of the the worst games. Probably uh, in the last couple years, really. I mean, this is, I've heard nothing but bad things about this. But I've also noticed I don't see it at the few game stops in my general area anymore. So to get a complete copy, we're good. You watch, like five, ten years, that thing's gonna, there's gonna be a premium on it. Uh, Aces of the Luftwolf, Luftwolf, Luftwolf. This is a uh, shmup. I heard it's not a great shmup, but it's intriguing, nonetheless. THQ Nordic. Uh, all right, we, so we got some more that are still part of that deal. We got this um, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. So there's three of these games in the series that are on the PS4. I had one already from my buddy Richard Brian Kahn. Now I got the second one, and I also got the Fatal Bullet. So now we have all three of the, the Sword Art games. We got this uh, Little Hope. I believe this is a kind of uh, choose your own adventure type. I hope so at least, because those are, those are kind of fun. Uh, Need for Speed Heat. So, on average, I guess it, what, it was like $8 and change for each one of these. Far Cry Primal. Waited a while to check that one out, so that, that will be fun. I like the, the series. Motocross 2. 
I enjoyed the first one, so hopefully they improved on some of the, the things I didn't like on the first one. We got this Alien Isolation. So this is a, a port from the PS3, I do believe. Uh, my Hero My Hero One's Justice. This looks like a one-on-one -on -one fighting game based on the anime, which I know nothing about because I don't I'm not like my guy, Septim Sin. He knows his anime. I do not. Hopefully you guys checked out last week's episode. I know it's not for all you guys, but DVD collecting is a lot of fun. It's cheap. And um well, there's a lot of history. There's lots to choose from, so that's why I like to still collect for it. Uh, Amazon purchase. This one on sale for 20 bucks. This is the the Senran um, Kagura Peach Ball Splash. I always wait for these titles. They, it seems like this series, you know, they'll, they'll release at 60, 50 bucks brand new. And if you wait six months, you'll end up getting the collector's edition for like 20 bucks. So I have all the other ones that I got for real cheap, and, and now we got this one to add to. Uh, I'm trying to think out of all the, the, the sale prices here, there, there were some really good sale prices. The, the one that caught my eye right off was this Neo 2 um, that I guess every retailer was selling for $9.99. I think that's because they're going to release like a Game of the Year edition for this, so... But I'm okay because God knows I'll never be able to beat this. I enjoyed the first one, but I didn't make it very far. Doom Eternal. I think I paid $16 for this. Glad I waited. I almost bought this day one for $60, but you know, cooler heads prevail, as they say. Bought this brand new for $20, and this is Iron Man VR. I like me some VR. Another VR game I got was the Star Wars uh, Squadrons. I think this brand new across the board was $16, $17, whatever. I've actually fired this one up. I tried to play the VR. One of the worst experiences I've ever had. It, it's just blurry enough and then you start doing barrel rolls first person view I didn't make very far so hopefully playing it without the VR will be a better experience because I've heard a lot of great things about this one switch game that I got was this uh, Digimon story cyber sleuth complete edition this 20 bucks I think is what I paid which is which is a fair price there's plenty of uh, content on there Jordan Rubble Gaming Club you know him he talks this one up so we'll see once we get there and the last one out of the the pickups here for for Black Friday was this Ghost of Tajimi Tajima Ghost of Tajima I paid 40 bucks for it I saw it did go on sale on Amazon after that on Cyber Monday for like 33 but I said, you know what, what's this, we're sticking with this. I'll pay the, the 40 bucks. Once again, I've heard a lot of good things. I, I'm excited. I think there's a uh, multiplayer online mode that's in it now, maybe. I think. I hope. Because that'd be cool. But we'll be firing this one up soon enough as well. Currently... I'm still playing the Yakuza Like a Dragon game, which I thought was going to be a, a tactical strategy game, but just turns out it's a uh, really different type of JRPG, with lots of humor, having fun, 16 hours in, so, so we're, we're making progress there. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Yeah, that, that's the haul this year. I, I feel good about it. There was, I don't know, I guess in past years it, it felt like it was more more to be had. Not that this wasn't a lot, because it, it certainly was. But, I, I don't know, I guess that it just, maybe because I was collecting during the year, so I had a lot of the stuff already going into Black Friday. 
so there was no need to, to kind of go too, too crazy. Uh, let me know, I guess, what, what you picked up. What was your, uh, your big purchase? Uh, for me, it was definitely that uh, Sakura Wars and also the, that Atlas title, the 13th, uh, 13th Sentinels was, was the one I really, really wanted. Those two really combined. The rest is just uh, filler stuff that I've wanted to play for a while. Stuff I can get behind, you know. Beefs up that PS4 collection, just coming along nicely. Roaming Dan, I see you just added some to yours as well from your Black Friday haul, which is great. Because at this point, as far as retro collecting goes, I'm pretty good. I don't just. There's, sure, there's some NES titles I need, but I got my GameCube set. I've got three away from a complete Wii set at this point, so I don't need those things. Uh, Genesis stuff, I have like 80% of the stuff I want, so there's not a lot of stuff I need at this point in my collection. So, I just pretty much look forward to these, these uh, PS4 pickups, really. But anyways, in the comments, guys, please let me know what you got. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We, we got a bunch of pickups coming up in the next couple weeks. I've been killing it at the thrift stores lately. Getting really lucky with video games, box set movies, uh, TV shows, CDs, toys, all kinds of really fun stuff. So hopefully you'll, you'll tune in, say hi, obviously, because that, that's important. It's nice to know that you guys, if you are watching, just let me know what you like, what you don't like. Obviously I can't, this time of year right now, trying to get a, a crew of guys together, just bad news, it just can't happen. But, maybe in the new year, who knows. Give some good news, I don't know. Anyways guys, until next time, uh, you do what you do, and um, you're toodaloo.